nice apron for it. This is my first apron. I think it's a bit small. Maybe we should get a bigger one. Well, whether you've been cooking since you were this big or this big, there's always something you can make. So hi and welcome to Getting Into Raw Cooking with Zay. Today we're going to show you another smoothie recipe. This is a great smoothie recipe using the Optimum 9900 blender. As you know, the Optimum 9900 blender is the fastest and most powerful blender in the world. It can be used in your home or commercial grade. So this is a great one for smoothies and juice bars. And I've said that in a couple of videos recently, but it's really important that we know there's so much we can do with this. It is so easy to process ice. I will throws in first, then the frozen ingredients, here we go, look at that, Optimum, then our softer and more liquid ingredients. I'm going to use today, you can see the blueberries and ice are in already, but I'm going to use some oats. So the oats will go in next, and then the powders. Now, a lot of uh, recipes will tell you to put the powders in last, but I like to put the powders in just a little bit before last, because otherwise sometimes with a powerful blender, they kind of poof up to the top, and we don't want to lose any of those um, beautiful ingredients. So we'll pop a little bit of yogurt in here, two scoops of protein powder, two scoops of oats, two scoops of yogurt. I'm going to pop in approximately a teaspoon of honey into the jar as well. Now if you don't like honey or if you're vegan you can change this recipe and use another sweetener. You could use stevia, you could put stevia leaf in there, you could use coconut nectar, that would be a great option as well. I'm going to pop a teaspoon of cinnamon in that recipe so it's a nice kick for the breakfast and then the liquid on top. Now you can also always put the liquids and soft ingredients first but with this one because I've popped those powders in I'm going to put the liquid last just kind of put a little seal on top. It's going to run down between the cracks make sure that we've got stuff in there to get the blender blades going so a couple of cups of milk go in next. Pop that straight onto the blender base, make sure that it's securely in place, and then add the lid and make sure that that is securely in place with the lid plug in place. And then all you need to do is flick the blender on and go for about 30 seconds, and you've got yourself breakfast on the go. Down to low, flick it off, remove the lids. Now, if you were a smoothie or a juice bag, you could pop this into a takeaway container and make two large serves. Or, since I'm having breakfast on the go today, into a mason jar. And you can carry this one around with you. Drinking from a glass jar is a great idea um, and it's recyclable. <laughs> Whoopsie. <laughs> well, don't make a mess if you're doing this at home. But it tastes really good. Blueberry, 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 breakfast, blast. Breaky on the go. Yum. Blueberry, breakfast, blast. Try and say that one quickly, but easy, quick, delicious, high speed blender whips it up in just a second. If you'd like to know where to get your own, have a look down below for the Fruity website closest to you and you can pick up your own optimum blender or subscribe to the Fruity TV channel for more great recipes. Ciao for now. Blueberry, breakfast, blast is done. Blueberry breakfast blast. Blueberry breakfast blast. Blueberry breakfast blast. Okay, okay. Green smoothie. One for you, one for me. Yum. <laughs> He's a cameraman type group. <laughs>